Hello guys, Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which I'm going to show you guys how to install stock ROM on the Honor 8 Pro. If you have installed TWRP recovery, then you cannot really install stock ROM through TWRP recovery because Honor does not provide stock recovery ROM package like Xiaomi or OnePlus does. It's quite unfortunate, but we can't really do much about that. And in order to flash the stock ROM, we have to follow kind of weird method as compared to other devices because you do not have to boot into fast boot mode or something like that. I'm going to show you guys that method in this video. So without further delay, let's get started. First of all, you will need to download the stock ROM zip file or the firmware zip file. And you have to make sure that you download the correct firmware of your region only. So if you live in India and if you have bought the device in India, then download the Indian firmware. If you live in Russia, then download the Russian firmware. If you live in Europe, then download the European firmware. All the firmware links will be in the description box below. Make sure you download the correct firmware. Once you download the firmware from the link in the description box below, you have to extract it. Once the extraction process is complete, you'll find one folder over there. Click on that and then you will find the deload folder. Now you have to copy this deload folder into a memory card which should be of at least 8 GB. Now attach the micro SD card to your PC and we need to format the memory card into XFAT or NTFS because the FAT32 which is the default format of the memory card does not allow us to copy a file which is of more than 4 GB and the stock ROM file contains one file which is of more than 4 GB. So go into format, select XFAT over here and select format. Now you have to copy the complete deload folder into the memory card. You do not have to create any extra folder in the memory card over there. Once the deload folder is copied in the memory card, remove the memory card from the PC and now insert the memory card into Honor 8 Pro's hybrid SIM card slot. Once that's done, switch off your device completely. If you are on any custom ROM, if your device is not booting, if you are in boot loop or anything like that, Switch off your device completely. If you're in boot loop, you have to hold the power button for a few seconds. Once the device is switched off, hold the volume up and volume down buttons together. And after just one second, press the power button too, like I did in this video. You have to hold these buttons until and unless you see the Honor Boot logo over here. Once you see the Honor Boot logo, you can leave these buttons. And now the device will automatically recognize the memory card and it will automatically recognize the deload folder which we had copied into the memory card too. You do not have to do anything now. It will automatically flash the stock ROM. It will automatically lock the bootloader. It will remove the TWRP recovery and root access and any ROM which you had installed in your device. If you want to claim your warranty but do not want them to know that you had unlocked the bootloader or if you had flashed a custom ROM, then follow this exact method which I showed in this video to flash the stock ROM. Once the stock ROM is flashed, after around 10 or 15 minutes, the device will boot back into the system. You can set up your device normally. And if I go into settings and if I go into system update, there is no update present or it is not showing any type of update. Uh, this happened to me also, but as soon as I inserted a SIM card into the device, it gave the update and I can update the system without any issues because there is no root access, no TWRP recovery. Right now the device's software condition is like new and how it was when you unboxed the product long back. You can follow the exact same method to unbreak your other Honor devices. You have to make sure that you download the correct firmware of your device only. Do not flash some other devices firmware on some other device. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and click on my face right now to get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these like plus informative videos are going to come real soon on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.